Hello, my name is Robert Miller. I'm the technical lead for Project Waffles, evaluating short-eared owl distribution, habitat use, population trend, and future viability within Western North America. Project Waffles was named by one of our long-term volunteers and stands for Western Azioflamius Landscape Study. What is an Azioflamius? It is a short-eared owl. Short-eared owls are a medium-sized owl. They primarily re rely on large, intact native grasslands across their global range, although in the western North America we uh, often find them in shrublands, wetland, ripar riparian areas, and in agricultural lands. Their population densities are highly variable uh, and have been demonstrated to track vole populations. Uh, they have low uh, site fidelity and are considered highly nomadic. One of the challenges in surveying for them is that they may be in breeding in high densities in one year and nearly absent from the landscape the following year. Uh, they are a ground nesting species. Travis Booms from Alaska Fish and Game uh, got together a few years ago with uh, essentially all of the researchers at the time of short-eared owls across North America and they put together a paper that really uh, made the argument for increased attention to this species. Uh, they uh, demonstrated there's a long-term range-wide and substantial decline in the species we believe by as much as 65 percent in 40 years. That the weight of evidence of that decline is convincing although the specific magnitude, causes, and details of that decline remain unclear. So better information is needed. Uh, they put forth six conservation priorities. Project Waffles contributes to five of those. Uh, the first is to define and protect important habitats. We expect to uh, have a high degree of focus on identifying the habitat use by this species in the West. Uh, improve population monitoring to get uh, detailed and statistically rigorous estimates of the population and any trend that may be going on. That's a core driver of Project Waffles. Se determine seasonal and interannual movements of the species. One of the reasons that we are surveying across an eight state swath is so that we can hopefully find where they are in abundance in one year, where they move from, and where they move to as they uh, move around the landscape. Development, develop management tools and plans. Uh, this is primarily working with our state and federal agency partners, uh, giving them the detailed information they need to get specific management and action plans in place. Uh, number five is to reevaluate the nature serve classification. Uh, the short eared owl is classified as uh, imperiled or endangered in many of the states and provinces in North America. However, uh, the overall classification is stable. Uh, so we want to provide very specific information to uh, revise those classifications if necessary. And uh, the sixth item is not one we're working on, uh, but is to classify raptors as migratory birds in Canada. Unlike in the United States, raptors are not protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act in Canada. So the Audubon Climate Program has uh, uh, classified the short-eared owl as climate endangered. Uh, this map shows uh, the wintering distribution of short-eared owls uh, currently and where it's expected to be 70 years from now. Uh, the red are locations where the winter distribution is expected to be extirpated. Now this is a model and all models are, are wrong but tend to approximate reality. We believe this model is true although we believe that it could be more specific and detailed uh, and we need to work to identify the specific reasons why this model is predicting short eared owls to be almost completely extirpated from the west. Looking at the state level, uh, the states, each state has a state wildlife action plan, which is a document uh, that they work on and gets approved by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. It details any special protections in the state and the action plans for those. And the short-eared owl is classified in seven of our eight states. Uh, in five it's states, is classified as a species of greatest conservation need. In Nevada, a species of conservation priority, which is a similar designation. And in Montana, a species of greatest inventory need, uh, which is a classification saying that they really need more data to determine if it's in these other categories. Uh, while Utah did not classify this species in their past State Wildlife Action Plan, they are considering it for their next, and they are looking to us to provide that detailed information that's actionable for their plan. 
So what are the WAFL's objectives? Uh, to quantify the population size in each participating state, feeding directly into those state wildlife plans. To quantify how these populations fluctuate, both spatially and temporally, uh, on the landscape. To identify the distribution, the specific habitat use of the species, any impacts of land use such as grazing, and future impacts of, of climate change. Uh, to generate statistically rigorous region-wide projections uh, of uh, short-eared owls in these climate models. So basically to update that Audubon uh, climate program estimate. And then lastly, work with each of our agency partners to implement high-value conservation actions. So what are we? We're engaging citizen scientists, volunteers, and select agency participants across eight western states in a statistically rigorous survey of breeding short-eared owls. And these green locations indicate all of the survey locations that we are planning to uh, survey this coming spring. So with that, I would like to direct you to our Facebook page for program updates, uh, announcements, recruiting, and then also program status and results uh, later in the year. And to our uh, um, website that gives detailed information. It's where the protocols, uh, the data sheets, data entry, sign up, things like that are all located. That's bit.ly slash waffles 2018, and that is case sensitive. Thank you for your interest, and I hope you join the program.